Okay. I'm recording. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll just do a quick intro and we can get into it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Cool. This is a Studio 6 live session from CJSF with Hope and Mama Rugal. Uh, thanks for coming, both of you. Yo, thank you for having us. Uh, and thank you. Uh, you want to get us started, Hope, with uh, a track? Yes, please. Oh, let's, yes. Let's um, get right into it. This first track is called 100 Million. One of the things that I would like to say right now is happy birthday to Zoya, uh, mini Rugal. Today is her birthday. Um, and we're down here at the radio station at SFU, so we're really happy about that. Thank you. Get back. Get back. Get back. 100 million, tell me how you feel with the headdress on and the holocaust singing I've been living in a colonized world cause the color of my skin has red all in it Listen, you can hear the drum go bang, I'ma get him This is Canada, man, I'm offended that you don't get it But I get it, you don't really know better 100 million over 500 years, this is the reason I rap with the rage The reservation bringing all my tears, this is a place that I hope he can change Homie hung himself only after that girl was buried My life is full of that fentanyl and all the fundamentals I'm in a headspace now now that I make you mental Alcoholism just swallow my cousin Just roll with the punches and act like it's nothing This is the basics of being a native Cause racism came in defeat of my nation Your mockeries, you better stop with these This is my culture, you vulture, you fake You mock me and you will not succeed This is the reason I cannot relate I cannot relate Cause you have so much hate in your heart for innate But a snap on a snake as you slither I'd rather be living and giving the rhythm a shake 100 million over 500 years This is the reason I rap with the rage The reservation bringing all my tears this is a place that i hope he can change i'm a salish man as y'all take my land i had the right to stand here and raise my hands i hear ocm and then the ocean slams it gets a stolen lander where the hope began wet to wet and whoa standing rock whoa 100 million yo 500 years whoa y'all love to hate us you don't know what we're made of i'm that hope i'm that native i'm that hope i'm that native i said y'all love to hate us you don't know what we're made of I'm that hope, I'm that native, I'm that hope, I'm that native, I don't know To all my people, I don't know To all my people, I don't know To all my people, I don't know I don't know I don't know what we're gonna do So we come out here, we say what we wanna say Rue Gang Entertainment my name is Hope. All right. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> it felt good. Felt good. So we got Mama Rugal next. Yes. It is my turn now. Yes. I'm going to switch up the vibes a little bit and uh, share a song that I wrote um, after escaping a very, very... Um, violent situation that I was very, very young and didn't know how to navigate my way out of. And um, so this song that I wrote is called Someone Better and I wrote it as a way of helping myself kind of break free of that um, toxicity and kind of reach that next level of my life. And, you know, and it really has helped. So I, I'm excited to share. <clears throat> This is digital business. Yeah, six years of my life, yeah, never give back. Just one more year, I'll go mad. And deep inside, I feel I'm breaking down. But I stay strong, the whole life will go on. So now I gotta try. Dwelling on the past I keep my head on a 
Yeah, that was a dope track. That's one of my faves for sure, for sure. <laughs> it's um, it's hard to say which is not my favorite because <laughs> that's my lady, and I spend so much time listening to all of it. We craft music together and stuff. So also, that song is like about how wicked awesome you are. So yes, also thank that. You. <laughs> well, m- maybe that's a good place to start. Then is yeah. sort of the, I mean, the the relationship between the two of you. How did yeah. how did how did you meet? How did the the making music together come about? Uh, we we met at uh, the Native Hip Hop Festival. Yes. Um, Which is hosted by Manic Wonderful. Yes. Um, um, that was, what, 2014? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, Mama walked in. She had a Neff shirt on. And Neff is my really good friend. <laughs> He's a good homie of mine from uh, XL, AOXL, Alpha Omega. Uh, Prevail's another really good friend of mine, too. So, those you know, as soon as she walked in, I seen the Neff shirt. And the thing about that is the Neff shirt just came out. So that's why when she had the Neff shirt on, I was like, I literally just got one of those and I like get them when they're printed right away. And so you knew she was a real fan. That's, that I knew she, I literally went, that's fam. Because there's no way you don't get a shirt like that this quick, you know? And so right away I was like, I had my eyes honed on her, bought her a couple drinks and uh, just took it from there. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, and actually, the night before that, we were both on the same show, but we were like, it was like a yacht party, and I think that we were just kind of encircling the yacht opposite each other, <laughs> but I know that his, like, they were on the bill, and I was on the bill, and I actually won that shirt that night, and then the next night was the na- uh, Native Hip Hop Festival, and uh, yeah, and I had no idea who I was looking for at the time, and so he came up to me, and I was like, oh, this must be the... Like the guy who I'm looking for, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, hey, let's chat, and uh, yeah, we didn't, we were gonna try not to make music together for a good while, um, but obviously everybody was like, hello, where's your songs? <laughs> when are you guys gonna do the songs? So we started, yeah, we started writing together, and yeah, yeah. I mean, what we, uh, what we didn't, I, I was like, I don't really want to do music with my partner because there's lots involved with that, so I, you know, 
but then I built a studio at her house and uh, I moved in with her uh, and, and Zoya, the little one. So we built a studio and then at, at that point you're just like, well. It's kind of silly yeah. not to yeah, at that exactly. point. Exactly. There's, there's <laughs> tracks that I'm like, that's a really hot track and she's got it in the works and she's like, do you want on it? And I'm like, I have to get on it, you know? Yeah. And so that's, that's kind of how the birth of us doing music together started was, um, what was the first one? Uh, take flight, take I think, flight. or was it Bugatti? It's been so long. It was but take yeah. flight, which we, we've never released produced yeah. by star core. Um, but yeah, so we've been killing it ever since we, you know, rude gang entertainment. Um, obviously mama's the lead. So that's Rude Gang, Mama Rude Gal. Um, and that came from just saying, Rude Gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We would get like real excited and be like, Rude Gang. Rude Gang. And then, yeah, and then it just, it's all snowballed into what it is now. But yeah, it kind of started with that Native Hip Hop Festival show and that was yeah. it. Now here we are. Yeah. Well, and I mean, like hip hop is a really, like, there, it's really community based and oriented totally yeah. way, yeah. right? Absolutely. Um, how do you, I mean, this particular situation, you, you, you met each other, you, you saw there was a connection there, but generally, how do you, how do you find, how do you decide who to work with? How do you, how do you figure out who is part of your community? Um, you know, that's a, that's a real tough one in the hip hop yeah. community. Yeah. Um, you know, we try and have as much love as possible. Um, <clears throat> I think one of the things too, is we are indigenous artists and we're actually, you know, when it comes to status crew, uh, which was, is a part of Rude Gang, it's me and Doobie and mm -hmm. status crew were Coast Salish. So this is our lands. We grew up in these reserves and as the things, as time goes on, um, we, we realize that we need to reclaim what we can. And, uh, being an indigenous artist, um, especially in the hip hop scene in Vancouver, um, there's not a huge amount of support. And there's a lot of people saying that they will support. They say they will help you. And really, it's not uh, what it seems, you know. And that that happens a lot. But when you're a Coast Salish person on <clears throat> our lands and that happens, it's a little bit like, man, I'm, I'm putting all my, my words that I've spent on this reserve where I've been put, I'm putting that into words. And I'm actually, you know, bringing a light to younger kids and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I feel like um, finding people to work with, uh, you'll notice that Root Gang keeps it real tight, you know, and that's, we, we don't work with, there's people that we, we just won't work with because yeah. um, n no shade towards them or anything, but we're just trying to keep it in our circle. Mm -hmm. And as Indigenous people, we really have to protect ourselves. I think that for me too, a lot of what, we do at Rude Gang is centered around kind of being SJWs. And so with that, we have a responsibility to do our due diligence with who, who we work with and, and what kind of content we support. And um, also, you know, um, so yeah, so for me, I, 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 we do keep it really tight just because a lot of hip hop is very uh, much not with the vibe that we and with the rep uh, uh, reputation that we're building for ourselves. And so we do enjoy a lot of hip hop that we probably would never actually like work with, but, um, you know, we're still out here doing that work and we, we don't want anybody, any collaborations to kind of, um, counteract the work that we're doing in our communities and in through our, our art. And we don't ever want to be in a situation where we're kind of, questioned about our integrity so yeah the integrity thing is like really huge for us and yeah and again being indigenous that's like another community like being an indigenous hip-hop artist you automatically get like okay well then you go you're with those rappers even though it's like well we're bc rappers or we're canadian rappers or indigenous rappers so yeah so there's like layers like just different levels of community there as well uh with that intersection included so yeah it's kind of it's interesting we do work with a lot of um, indigenous rappers through uh, Rude Gang Entertainment because we have a native hip hop cipher called Counting Coup that we are working on volume two and three right now with a lot of really excellent indigenous rappers. So we're excited about that. So that's kind of our, our way. We do our ciphers as a way of kind of making sure we're still connected with our peers. But other than that, yeah, we do keep our projects kind of tight and on the down low. Yeah. Great. Uh, you want to take it into your next song? Sure, yeah, let's yes. do this next song. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. 
Here we go. Yeah. All the I've been body this year, all the has a way to say that ain't no way to stop me. Ain't no way that I'm a fade away. It's safe to say the same for all my family. Yo, we just don't play today. Might be the day that you will see that we are here to stay. I'm here to stay. I'm here today. I'm here to tell you I've been on the come up. I don't play no game, so either way, I eat my way. Get out of the way, or get up and get it I'm heavy to hit it, or leave you beheaded I guess that you've never been in in a minute To see that I'm sitting with sinners within it for dinner I'm writing a verse of the feature, the feast is a beat And I came here to eat, leaving them screaming up off of the feet You can leave it to me to be reaching the peeps Now reach for the ceiling, I'm feeling the sky Feeling my mind with the realest design Risen and give me a reason to try, so say no more Wanna say goodbye, wanna save my time For the ones who rise, if you see this side, suicide So I say these words in the hopes that I won't have to go back down to the level Cause Are the I've body, this year are the as a way to say there ain't no way to stop me, ain't no way that I'ma fade away It's safe to say the same for all my family, yo, we just don't play today Might be the day that you will see that we are here to stay I'm here to stay, I'm here today I'm here to tell you I've been on the come up I don't play no games, so either way I eat my way, I eat my way through verses, hooks and melodies I just don't play All eyes on me when I drop this heat Cause I can't stand back, I'm a casualty Snap on the rap for the fam, that's that Take it to the top cause I can't hold back Attack, put him in a trap. Oh my god, I'm a man with a plan on deck. Go get what you want, what you need. You can do it all by yourself. Don't let them have anything. Provide my mind with energy. I'm alive with chemistry. You'll find when you look inside. I can't deny this memory. It's time for the hope to rise. I know that I'm in a place that I can achieve my goals at a pace that I just don't play. Cause Ali, I've embodied this here hobby as a way to say. Ain't no way that I'm a fade away. So say no more, say no more Came from a cave, you can hear my roar Either or a beast or bear From here to there, I keep it raw, I keep it raw Leave it to the root gang, hope in my Hope you know that we are here to take this to a place as far Cause I be dropping bodies out here working on my craft all day K put a flame to the game so we can see these MCs fade away It's not that I'm a hater, I just want you to avoid me main Status members laughing at these slackers who just want the fame So oddly, I've been body this year, hobby has a way to say Ain't no way to stop me, ain't no way that I'ma fade away It's safe to say this ain't for all my family Yo, we just don't play today Might be the day that you will see that we are here to stay I'm here to stay, I'm here today I'm here to tell you I've been on the come up I don't play no game, so either way I eat my way, I eat my way Through verses, hooks, and melodies I just don't play Man, I don't play no games 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 Go get them Go get them Go get them Go get them, we out Yeah, alright Yeah That one's called Here to Stay Off my Handlebars EP Came out a couple years ago it's a dope track. Love it. Mama. There's a dope video to go along with it, too. Yes. It's like a video essay about colonization, our favorite topic. Yes. So definitely check it out. It's on Facebook and all the tings. Okay, my turn again. Yeah. Yes. I'm just going to go. Uh-huh. <sighs> Running, gunning for ya. Stunning, I'm going to win. Yeah. I'm hunting, I'm hunting. Think you intimidate me? Oh, ha. Yeah, I'm soft, but I mean, though. Move back so I never get too close. Soft, but I mean, though. Hey, soft, but I mean, though. Stay raw with my team, though. Got my niggas and my niggas and my gringos. Said I'm soft, but I mean, though. I'm coming in rude and I'm bringing the truth. Anyone giving truth is a gun. We banging these boots and we be so obtuse. Always wrecking the mic that we on. We gang in the nude, you be seen as soon if I give you my time, it's an honor. Can't be a group like Madonna. Nah, be a person for warning. That stand back, he's a cutter. Every group gang chest left like Jutta. Every day we spinning it, doing just what we want. Steady on the grind and eventually on the come up. Yeah, son of when we on the bricks. Heavy coming with it, always focus on the bits. Do it for myself, do it for my kid. Never gonna stop, nigga, this is how I live. Yes, emulator, you're yeah, emulating us. Formulator, get delegating us. Full score prime when we elevate it. Mass cap reach when we entertaining. Now, hold up, while I give up all up. 
little bit of yeah, real bars Come and kill it when I hit you with this Hey Yeah, yeah, na 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 I'm running gunning for ya I'm sending, I'm gonna win I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win I'm hunting, I'm hunting Think you intimidate me? Oh, ha, yeah I'm soft but I mean though Move back so they never get too close Yeah, soft but I mean though Soft but I mean though Stay raw on my team though Got my niggas and my niggas and my gringos Said I'm soft but I mean though Oh you think you intimidate me? No Soft but I mean though Move back so they never get too close Soft but I mean though Soft but I mean though Stay raw with my team though Got my niggas and my niggas and my gringos Said I'm soft but I mean though So I'll vert your gaze nigga You be feeling some kind of way Hey, the world is what I made And I would never slow down till I'm getting paid Nigga behave When I put you in your face Mama, and piss has broken You replay, okay Mama, and never will I accept any disrespect Trying, I'ma bring you the drama Talking all the shit but you can knock back it up Boy, slow down boy, put the lips on the cup Get turned up, then I'm gonna run out of bucks Hold up, turns out I was born with none Ha, take a chance, realize I want you though Won't get a pass, gon' burn slow I and I always running on the low Take your eyes off, I'm a Robbie Blind, how it goes No, you see my curls in my cheeks No, you hear my soft ass beat No, you know my time ain't free No, you creep in my IG No, you thinkin' she's so sweet Till you hit the snake palm That be on my teeth On the mic, on the beat Cut you jumping out your seat like, damn She bringing the jam She might be the man She might be the man Now, don't get it twisted I be the, I be the business I be the, I be the missus And at the same time, I'm the vixen Paying the visits, making them vicious Yeah, that's me, put the booty on the D-H-O-P-E The one and only Safe to say destiny is showing, showing, hey Yeah, yeah, na 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 I'm running gonna for ya I'm stunning, I'm gonna win I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win I'm hunting, I'm hunting Think you intimidate me, up. Uh, Yeah, I'm soft, but I mean though Move back so I never get too close Soft, but I mean though Hey, soft, but I mean though Stay raw with my team though Got my niggas and my niggas and my gringos Said I'm soft, but I mean though Oh, you think you intimidate me? No Soft, but I mean though Move back so I never get too close Soft, but I mean though Soft, but I mean though Stay raw with my team though Got my niggas and my niggas and my gringos Said I'm soft, but I mean though Yes Yeah Oh, that was great. Uh, yeah. Welcome back after a song break. <laughs> yes. Uh, I wanted to, to ask both of you about uh, sort of the, the intersection in, in your music between, uh, I guess, sort of activism and, and just making music that is fun and engaging and, and how you navigate, how, how each of you navigate that. Um, how to navigate that, you know, um, I think we look at current events um, in my music, I spend a lot of time writing um, about growing on, up on a reserve and the stuff that I've seen. You know, the past that we had was a little different than we have now. It was pretty bad. Uh, you're out on the reserve. You know, even the cops takes a couple hours to get there. So if anything happened, you're just stuck to deal with it yourself. Um, and then when the cops do arrive, they don't really do much because they have no jurisdiction really there. They have to have permission from the chief. So, you know, I spent a lot of time writing um, about those times. Um, now, when we get into stuff that's happening now, that's when we look into current events. And that just stacks on top of what we're already talking about, right? Um, so the first track that I did, 100 million, was actually for Wet'suwet'en, um, when we seen that happen. And there was actually another person that rocked a headdress in their video. And uh, that kind of got me going. Non-indigenous person. Non-indigenous person. And so that's why the first line, um, 100 million, tell me how you feel with the headdress on and the Holocaust singing, right? And it's very, very harsh, but uh, it had to be said. I had to say it, you know, because it's something that I've seen um, as we're in the struggle here. Uh, and we see this thing that's just kind of like, you know, just not really getting it. So that's where uh, we do our research and uh, I, you know, came up across this thing that said 100 million deaths over 500 years. And that kind of sparked it for me. I was like, hey, you put that together with the headdress and we got a track. We got this beat from, uh, slow, uh, from, from overseas anyway. It's from, I get all my beats n uh, out of Vancouver, you know, so that when my stuff drops, it's going to be dropping in, in Germany and places like that. So that's good to have that too. 
because we're not, you know, they're gonna over there. They're like, whoa, we don't have a lot of that here. So when we when they see that, it's one hundred million right off the bat. Yeah, they don't hear it in the news. I mean, we don't hear it a ton in the news here. Yeah, anyway, but they hear it even less. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and so that's for me. Uh, Mama kind of has, you know, we were separate artists, so we kind of do things differently here and there. Yeah, for me, I definitely, um, I'll get like inspired by, oh, I see a tiny hand out there. I get inspired by um, like, or rather I get enraged about stuff. And so like I'm a, I'm a survivor of um, sexual assault. I'm a survivor of domestic abuse. And so, and then I'm indigenous and black and a woman. And I'm queer. So I am constantly getting triggered. If I'm on social media for too long, I get really, really triggered. The whole Cosby thing, that was super triggering. Um, there was like that movie with the indigenous actor, the couple of indigenous actors in our community who we see like on like regularly. That There was a lot of triggering things. And so for me, um, uh, what I want to do is want to make sure that I am carrying a message through most of my music, not all of my music, because I don't feel like it's my job. I'm not a musical activist. But... I do have things that affect me and to when I need to express those things, I find ways of doing that so that the person who I feel like needs to have the most impact, like the, to make the most impact, we need certain people to change their behavior, right? And so how do we do that, right? So if people are listening to a hip hop song and they're just vibing in their car and then the next week they're drinking lean, but they think that it was their idea. I just decided to drink lean. No, you heard it in a song last week. So, okay, fine. If that's how it works, if that's what the industry is doing, then I'll do that. I'll write a really jamming hip hop song. They're gonna be, it's gonna be stuck in their head for two weeks. And then, you know what, after that, they're gonna be like, I don't know why I call women bitches. I, I should stop, you know what I mean? Like anything that I can do to kind of help people to, have these epiphanies on their own because I feel like that's where it comes from. And and I also don't want people to listen to my music and be like, ugh, ugh, and like start scoffing and rolling their eyes. So it's very important for me to have a balance of like having a real, actual, real hip hop song that really actually effectively tackles the people who need to change. This is, I'm not just like reaching out to the people who understand how I feel. Like that's fine. That's always going to be there. But I need things to change and that's I don't have money to contribute I'm not a politician I'm a musician so this is how I can help you know making safe spaces like less necessary because everywhere will be a safe space once people start to learn these things and as an indigenous person we we, we are taught like respect and courtesy and mindfulness and all these things and so I feel like there's a lot of teachings that people missed in their childhood just because of whatever circumstances and so I want to be able to help those people to learn those things without preaching to them or without them feeling like they're being preached at and have it kind of more organic for them. Yeah. Yeah. The, the sort of the catchiness of the song almost serves as like a foot in the door. Yeah, to, yeah, exactly. And so then they don't even know, like, and then I use kind of try to use more tricky language and lyricism so that they don't realize that what I'm actually saying is what I'm saying. So I'll try to like use cadences and lyrical flows that they're familiar with so that they don't automatically go, what is she, what? Don't say that. Don't tell me not to laugh at rape jokes. I think it's funny and it's none of my business what my homeboy's like. No, I want them to like really be listening and then all of a sudden their brain just clicks. So it needs to get all the way in there without their conscious mind interfering with that. And so that's like a major goal for me. Yeah, and like two weeks later, they're singing along yeah. and just realizing what the words are for the first time. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot of people who change right they ha they were very racist and then all of a sudden something happened something clicked in their brain and they went oh my god i'm so sorry i've treated people of color so bad or i've treated queer people so bad i've treated whoever so bad and and it clicks so what is doing that i want to help in that process yeah great should we get into another yes. track yeah let's do this this next one uh Ooh. is kind of a good it's a good topic here it is so is this the sanctuary it is all right. Ready? Yo, shout out to Hazmat Beats on this one. Has Beats. Has Beats. This is a <laughs> new one. You know what? This one uh haven't even sent off to the to the guy. I just recorded it. Um I think this song I wrote. Um there was like three or four songs where I stopped writing cuz I was writing so much that I was like, "You know what? Click the beat on. I'm going to get in the booth and let's just go." And three of those songs are on the album and they're three of the best songs that I've ever done. Um great they're not even fully rap there's a lot of singing and stuff like that so this one here um i'm really psyched about so i'm gonna need some help from mom on this one yes. let's go 
Yeah. Try to hold us down, but we say fuck, fuck that. that. Fuck, fuck that. that. You can try to hide the past, but we say fuck, fuck that. that. Fuck, fuck that. that. You can try to take the rest, but we say fuck that. Fuck that. All my people come together and say fuck that. Even haters know that I'ma save his soul Better listen to the hope cause I've been taking over I've been sitting with a song like a supernova I'm gonna release that, feel that shake, it's on And now I hit that, get back, case of close Case of close, now I hit that, get back, case of close So much darkness up in my life, I don't think you get that Lost my cousin, now I lose my mind, I don't think you get that Drums go bang when I release these rhymes, I don't think you get that I'm a native man and I'm just not fine, I don't think you get that you can try to hold us down, but we say fuck, fuck that, fuck that. that. You can try to hide the past, but we say fuck that, fuck that. You can try to take the rest, but we say fuck that, fuck that. that. All my people come together and say fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. And my salmon, I need my grandma. Oh, what happened? I don't think you get that. I hope my grandpa hear me rapping. I don't think you get that. And all my ancestors, they asking, asking. What the fuck are we gonna do now? You can trust the North and Aid on that sound. Something came and then I dropped the flame. Now you listen to the stat. We ain't stop a thing, cause I'm clean and never gonna leave until I take it to the top. Don't stop. Never gonna leave until I take it to the top. I said, what the fuck are we gonna do now? You can trust the North and Aid on that sound. Something came and then I dropped the flame. Now you listen to the stat. We ain't stop a thing, cause I'm clean and never gonna leave until I take it to the top. Don't stop. Never gonna leave until I take it to the top. Don't stop for nothing, let me tell you something I've been rapping for a minute, but they love to hate Have you seen an eight? No I need to lay low Working on my rhymes in the real gang thing Hey now, I wanna say my name Redskin man with the redskin ways Hey now, I wanna say my name, wanna say my name But this ain't the same red man from the res on my resume Got a lot of pain, got a stored away Got a rhythm in the rap and a lot to say I just gotta see till my tongue can't sing I'm a sailish man, can I say one thing? You can try to hold us down, but we say fuck that, fuck that. You can try to take the rest, but we say fuck that, fuck that. You can try to hide the past, but we say fuck that, fuck that. All my people come together and say fuck that, fuck that. Need my cedar and my salmon. I don't think you get that. I need my grandma. Oh, what happened? I don't think you get that. I hope my grandpa hear me rapping. I think you get that. And all my ancestors, they asking, asking. Asking, what the fuck are we gonna do now? You can trust the North and Aid on that sound. Something came and then I dropped the flame. Now you listen to the stat, we ain't stop a thing, cause I'm clean. And never gonna leave until I take it to the top. Don't stop. Never gonna leave until I take it to the top. I said, what the fuck are we gonna do now? You can trust the North and Aid on that sound. Something came and then I dropped the flame. Now you listen to the stat, we ain't stop a thing, cause I'm clean. And never gonna leave until I take it to the top. Don't stop. Never gonna leave until I take it to the top. Don't stop. Oh, it's rolling. Are you rolling? Yeah. Let's roll it. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Looking at the venom when it's spit in your face. Hey. Looking for the medicine to raise the roof. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay. Boom. Okay. We got to start this one over here. Start it over. <laughs> I sprung I, it on you. I'm we so rolled sorry. into that one a little too quick. I know. I'm sorry. This is how we do. Looking at the venom when it's spit in your face Looking for the medicine or ready to race Funny how I put the words together with the bass For the first time feeling like I'm floating on the stage hey. cake I'm a product of 11 who were raised on the rails So they told me that I had to get ahead Strong in my head and I hold my head to the sky No why cause it can't be kept Wait a second hold up I'm about to go nuts I'm about to set this off and I cannot stop Till I knock off all my opponents waiting for the moment I'm about to go in I'm about to go right off and I know by now that you know that the beast is awoken Ready, set, go, go, get him, welcome to the show, oh, hit him Hit him with the flow so they know who did it when I go all in but it just go with it Wouldn't wanna wait cause I have no limits, if I had no fans you'll still be in it Get in, what I wanna, I don't really wanna have to go and tell y'all again If y'all don't know, y'all don't know, this that joint, this that joint Fuck it if you don't, fuck it if you don't, we're here to make noise Hey, hey, ready, set, go, go, get him, ready, set, go, go, get him, ready, set, go, go, get him Ready, set, go. Go, get em. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. This that joint. This that joint. Fuck it if you don't. Fuck it if you don't.
if you don't, we here to make noise. Hey, hey, ready, set, go, go, get on. 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 Mama's, Mama's right, right here, here. Go, get on. Pumps right there, go, get on. J Do, go, get on. Alpha Omega, go, get on. Ad Lib, go, get on. Doobie, go, get on. Onada, go, get on. Root Gang, go, get on. Y'all ready, set, go. Here I am once again, Root Gang on the beat, and we never sleep in 4 a.m. Ha. When I'm in the mix, damaging the beat while I'm dodging dick takes your serious face. Me, you can never play me. I've been spinning only name palm on the daily. Quicker than a Lambo, soft like a baby. Bounce like a nigga trying to flank here, wavy. I bring the paint. Most of you rappers just off in the game, y'all motherfuckers paint. Saying you lame, move like a turtle with half of a brain, got me feeling distinct. Yeah. I will only ever drop flames on the beat. Okay. I be at the table first when it's time to eat. No trees for a bummy nigga tripping on his feet. No seeds, cause your bummy ass stuck incomplete. Oh. And I be coming in so very grimy. Why feet of the very best and YB? Buy trees and vibe on the beats. I'm life on the streets. On the Mike is where you find me. How you really gonna miss it? Sounds like Ivy. Emanating my shine so blinding. Emanating across the nation. Blazing trails of a look for everyone but my team. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. This that joint. This that joint. Fuck it if you don't. Fuck it if you don't. We're here to make noise. Hey, hey. Ready, set, go. Go, get em. 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 Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. This that joint. This that joint. Fuck it if you don't. Fuck it if you don't. We're here to make noise. Hey, hey. Ready, set, go. Go get on ready set go go get on ready set go go get on ready set go go get on mama's, mama's right, right here go get on mama's right, right there go get on jado go get on Alpha omega go get on ad lib go get on doobie go get on onada go get on root gang go get on yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey hey, hey. <laughs> ready set go go get them that's the hit. <laughs> well, that was second to last. Second to last. I think we like have one more song. Bang this last one out. Yeah. Uh, before uh, before we go, I mm-hmm. guess we'll we'll sort of end on the song. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to ask what uh, what's next for for you folks. I know I know. Hope you've got uh, a new album coming out. Yes, on July twenty seventh, I will be releasing Red Man. Uh, the the event is called Red Man, a celebration of Indigenous excellence. Um, Red Man is an album that I've put together um, to highlight uh, where I come from, you know, and putting uh, Red Man first, and so people will always remember Red Man, um, mainly because uh, we're trying to bring shine and light to to our culture, and uh, not that we want everybody to jump on board and all that stuff, but we really need to revive it, and we need, to need people to know that it's there. Recognition and representation. Yes, recognition, representation. We, um, as uh, when we grow up on the reserve, we see a lot of different things that people don't see. So Red Man is that thing that you kind of, okay. Um, musically, great. Uh, and I, I, I say that because I put in the time. You know, I'm, I really concentrated on making sure that I didn't bore uh, along the way. So, um, yeah, Red Man is coming out next. And we have an indigenous uh, documentary um yeah yeah so i mean in general root gang entertainment is working on a lot of different stuff we just released the music video for red man before uh, which was funded by tell us story hive and i believe is available on tell us optic tv um it's great YouTube. by the way like, thank go, you go check it out whoever's watching this like go watch that next we're yeah. super great. proud of it it was an exciting thing to film and uh yeah and then we're planning the event which is also it, we, we put it on ourselves and that's funded by like music bc and creative bc and fpcc and um, so that that's on the 27th and then yeah we're also working on a documentary we just wrapped on that so it's going to be called um, The Foundation uh, Indigenous Hip Hop in Canada and it's a 10 minute documentary that will also be on Telesoptic TV September 23rd and um, yeah it really just um, it's about Indigenous Hip Hop but it's also kind of gonna have a lot of um, themes of you know key Indigenous issues that are affecting us and the reasons why we make hip hop so yeah it's a very it's a kind of a a scopey uh film and um yeah so that's coming out september 23rd and yeah we got some festivals and stuff i think back to red man video you know uh yeah go check that out um we as uh as the the key filmmakers for that pulled together some of our resources Mm -hmm. and i was able to get um, some really rare items that I'm wearing in that pretty much everything I'm wearing is accumulation of my family's stuff. 
Uh, the blanket is made by Deborah Sparrow. Uh, I have this eagle eagle claw staff that I have that's made by uh, my uncle Rocky the Rock. The big story behind these things, uh, mm -hmm. the weaving that went in to make that blanket is, you know, it's actually Coast Salish style of weaving. So um, it's a Coast Salish blanket. Uh, I was given, I was able to wear the cedar hat, which is my sister's. Uh, which was given to her, you know, as a gift and stuff like that. So we, along with the hat and the blanket and the staff, and we did, we also had um, a Coast Salish uh, costume designer. Yeah. Um, as the director of a, a video, I'm Blackfoot. And so for me, uh, media is huge because as a Blackfoot person, we're the, we're the ones, us and the Navajo are like the ones, the stereotypical teepees and, and war bonnets and loincloth, right? And so for me, when I moved out here from Alberta and I saw Coast Salish people up close, I was like, I thought, like I had been to Winnipeg where we they still kind of just look like Blackfoot people and, because they're all Cree. So Coast Salish people, very, very different. And for me, I suddenly realized, whoa, there's like no representation of like different indigenous people. Everybody just thinks we're all like teepees and war bonnets. So I took this project on as a way of trying to put Coast Salish culture in the media and in pop culture, uh, however possible. And um and, but I'm Blackfoot, so I'm I'm a settler here, and I'm I'm not familiar with the culture. So I I used um, Oz Twelve. Uh, he's a researcher, and he's also very he's Coast Salish, but he does a lot of research. So he was a consultant of mine, and um, then I hired a Coast Salish costume uh, maker to handle all our costumes and to make sure that I was being kept in check and everything was going to be authentic. Because for me, it was very important for Coast Salish elders to not be offended by our work and um, to be happy with it. And so we did get a lot of really cool spiritual signs too while we were filming. And one of them is actually on film. In the music video, we actually were able to catch like this epic flock of birds that took off while we were filming. And the blooper of it is hilarious, but on the music video, it's like real beautiful. So, and also, oh my goodness, we have uh, secret Easter egg dancers in the music video. Actually, our dancers are uh, Snotty Nose Res kids, yeah, and yeah. Uh, so we didn't make a big deal out of that. We wanted to people to see how many people would like notice. But yeah, yeah it's actually Snotty Nose Res kids that are the mass dancers in that video. Yeah, and the other the other costume that I'm wearing with the fur. Oh, yeah. Is was worn by comedy <laughs> yeah. in another in, in like another a movie, movie or something. <laughs> and so it was interesting to be wearing that, and I, I felt like I was dressed on the side of the river, people walking by, all the non-indigenous people, and I'm dressed in this fur and like you know, yeah. it was really you could tell they were like, what is that guy doing <laughs> standing there? What's happening over there? Right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm I'm in I'm in no shoes on, and I'm standing on the rocks, yeah. and she had to go get something. So eventually, I was standing by myself, just all by yourself. Yeah, just dressed stand up in the river. Yeah. yeah. And people are going by, and they're like, "There's no filming. There's the, the guy's just standing there by himself. Like, what is that?" So, He's gonna do something. Yeah, I mean, so that'd be a good piece of performance art on its own. Right? Yeah, totally right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, Red Man. Uh, there's a lot of story behind that, yeah. and and we actually filmed it at Hatsik Rock, mm -hmm. which is also another historical point. site that yeah. they uh, tried to blow up this rock. They tried to dynamite it, and our spiritual leaders in that area came in and said, "No, you can't do that." And they actually won, mm -hmm. and so they had to give up that area, and so it's now owned by our reserve. Uh, they did some digging, and there was um, arrowheads and stuff that they found in that area. So once yeah. that happened, it was like, okay, yeah, this is really a historical site. And yeah. so we went there, and it's actually a, a smokehouse setting inside, which is uh, in my in you, you can't just get in a smokehouse and film. You know, yeah. you you go to, you go to a smokehouse, and if you know they greet you at the door, where are we need to know, are you allowed here? Mm -hmm. Are you are you si not to be mean, but are you safe? Mm -hmm. um, anybody who's pregnant is not allowed young kids aren't allowed um, so you know to get into a setting like that was pretty hard to be like we need a smokehouse setting and it takes a lot of trust yeah, yeah. totally and we're I was raised in a smokehouse so we had not in a, in a smokehouse but I was always it was present mm -hmm. and it was normal and then it wasn't until I moved to Vancouver that you realize people are like what's a smokehouse what's in the smokehouse how do I get in there and you're like it's not like that Yeah. Mm -hmm. even as myself if I was to maybe smoke a joint, like, nah, you don't go to the smokehouse. Yeah. And they, you're told when you're a kid that they will be able to tell. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Does it? You can try and get rid of the smell. The elders will look at you and they can just tell, you know. So um, it was great to get in there. So we got all the costumes and it's a really great video. 
I think it really worked out well. And it's a bunch of, it's a bunch of stuff that a lot of rappers in Vancouver would be like, what is this? Yeah. And you're like, yo, this is uh, our gathering of resources. And that's how indigenous people, we didn't have riches. We didn't have money. We had resources. You would hold yeah. a potlatch and yeah. your potlatch was as big as your how much help you've given in the community. Mm-hmm. Right. So if your, your potlatch was small, you could say like, man, you didn't really help a lot of people out this year. (laughs) Maybe you should do a little bit more work in the community and your riches will grow. Right. So that you have a bunch of that and then you have a bunch of people helping in communities and everybody's just a community. We'll come through. We'll bring you gifts because you really helped us out in the last ten years or whatever. So that's that kind of w- how the music video kind of came together yeah, too. That's was his family were all like dropping by, like here's the stuff, here's the blanket, here's the hats. Yeah. And so it was really, yeah, it was really very yeah. indigenously put together as yeah. well. <laughs> well, it means you've been doing a good job. Yeah, right? like because yeah. ev- everyone is willing to pitch in and come and help yeah. when, yeah. when you ask. Yeah, it's, and it's and nice. the the artist like my my uncle Rocky the Rock to have him comment on nice, you look good. I was like, there we be, there we go, because he's a hunter, like he's old school. He's a carver, right? He lives out in deep in the reserve, no city. It's just our family, and so to have him say, and he'll he might hear this, but shout outs, you know, Rocky the Rock gave me that. Uh, you look good, and I felt really good about that because that's what that, I said. That I was like, we can't do this video, and have our family and stuff come at us and be like, yo, dude. Yeah. You messed that up, <laughs> like yeah. you misrepresenting us, and um, we're huge on that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. as a family, we all look out for each other. Yeah. We all make sure, like, if we're looking bad, we can run in there <clears> and, hey, do you need help? Like, what do you need right now to, to smooth this out? So, yeah, it was good. Red Man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, go check out the video for Red Man. Yes. And then the yeah. album comes out July 27th. July 27th, yeah. Cool. Um, and that'll be out places you can get music yeah mm-hmm. spotify yeah. itunes all that we do have another video we're working on too mm-hmm. uh which to is support the, the album yeah to support the album and it actually is for missing and murdered indigenous mm-hmm. women and mm-hmm. again one of those songs is uh that song is concentrated on making sound good mm-hmm. to reach mm-hmm. reach the people mm-hmm. you know so you yeah. can be like wow that's a really good song hold on what is he talking wow okay yeah. i really like it and I really like what he's saying too. So, you know, I'm stoked on it. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess let's get into the the last track. Yes. The final First. track. Yes. This one's. Yes. Yeah. Mama, take it away. Okay. I shall then. I bloody shall. Is it working? Oh no, it's not working because I faded it out. <laughs> those those fades. I swear. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got my I got my shit together now. If I get something, everything I will treasure deeply. 
lasting love and loving last, lasting like eternal past. She screams out, born under the red moon, she seeketh strength without limits, tangible, intangible, unmanageable, free it. All right. <laughs> thanks thanks guys folks yeah thank thanks you. for coming and doing this thank you for having us thank we're you we're super stoked to be here so yeah thank you it's been it's been a blast yeah well we brought we brought the hype yeah I we brought so. the lows and the highs it's and the not middles. even that hot in here either i'm right? man, i'm amazed yeah we've been working on our health yeah that's, <laughs> a, that's the big, biggest thing maybe that's not why i'm not so sweaty today. yeah maybe right <laughs> me too i'm like you know what we're like we're pretty healthy. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, there's lots of lights in here. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for having us. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, you can find uh, Hope at Hope SKS on Instagram for myself. Mama Rude Gal M T H C for Mama. Yes, M T H C very important. Yes. And uh, Rude Gang Entertainment all over the place. Yeah. We were hoping. To get a few words by Minnie Rude Gill on her eighth yes, birthday. Yes, yes. Yeah, let's bring her in. Okay, yes. yes. Okay, yeah, Dad is going to get the mini. Mini. Mini Rude Gill. Mini Rude Gill, you're this being This is your summoned. call time. This is your call. You look out, watch, watch out, out, watch out. Come in here. Watch Come your step. Here. You want to say a few words on your birthday? Hello, it is my birthday. Introduce yourself. I am Mini Rude Gill. Mm-hmm. The back, I'm eight... I'm eight now. Yeah. I'm the backup dancer of Mama Rude Gel. Yeah. That's right. And I'm really excited. <laughs> Say thanks for having me. Thanks for having me! <laughs> Say Rude Gang. Rude Gang! Oh, everybody. Sorry. Everybody. No. Sorry. Oh, that was great. Thanks. Awesome. We're still working on the mic etiquette. Yeah, we're still working on the mic. She hasn't got that lesson yet. My apologies. That's, so, yeah. that's what I sounded like the first time I rapped. I was like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Thank Dope. you so much, guys. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Cheers. That's, that's, that's good. it. Okay, that's awesome. it. Oh, thank you. That was great.